I think award shows in general are just uh, done. Yeah. It's going the way. It's like the 70s variety show. It's just we're mm. done with it. We're really done with uh, putting up with um, celebrities showing how awesome they are. Like, we don't see them like that anymore. Yeah. When award shows were really at their height, we saw celebrities as these magical people, you know? And it was the only time you would see them not portraying someone else. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now... The when you see them on screen, it's almost an adjunct to what you've seen on talk shows on Instagram. Right. Uh, you, you know, we don't like who they things. are as real people, by the way. We don't because we and, realize that they're puppets. Yeah, they're puppets for an agenda. They're empty vessels, usually not very smart. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole gist I've I've realized over the years, the whole gist of being an actor is that they have to be so devoid of an actual personality yeah. in order to just be filled by a writer's words mm. of this imaginary person. Yeah. So these really good actors that have entertained you on screen for years with a uh, great portrayal of characters, you see them in real life on talk shows or any other thing where they are just being themselves. They are terrible. They're yeah. just vapid, uh, stupid for the most part. Like they're not smart people. Um, sometimes you get one with a perky personality, but I think they're playing a character there too. Yeah. yeah. Like, like they've, they're smart enough to know no one wants to see me as I really am. So like Jennifer Lawrence, for instance, she'll get on a talk show and be very funny and plucky and stuff. But I think that's just a character. That's another role. That's another yeah. role you're playing. This is my talk show character. Yeah. Uh, De Niro is a prime example of it's someone devoid of any personality or anything interesting to say uh who you know throughout the years we watch this guy going oh my god it's a great movie fucking i love this and then you realize oh shit he's like one of those old computers that if you didn't put the disc in nothing happened so if you don't have the, the three by five floppy <laughs> right right robert de niro so let the computer know what it needs to be doing yeah 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 I, I think also the idea that um we need to watch them celebrating each other. Oh, it's uh, most of the and I'll, I'll say this: my limited experience with acting, which has been very small things and you know goofing around in sketches and stuff, it's made me realize that the main ability they have is to sit in between takes and not get bored. For or extended just, period of time in a trailer. <laughs> Uh, on the set while yeah. a light guy changes something for an hour. Yeah, yeah it's incredibly boring. To, to disengage from your environment and then suddenly engage in this right. other one. Because I know anything I've ever tried to shoot, once we get past the third take, I think, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. Boring. I'd it's rather just boring. do something else. <laughs> it's tedious. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. And then you realize, like, these professional actors making a movie, imagine that for months on end. <laughs> like, I think the longest thing I've ever done was a couple of days long. Yeah. Uh, as far as a, a shoot goes, most of them are a few hours in an afternoon. A and it's incredibly boring and mm. monotonous and tedious. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine months on end you're shooting something like Mission Impossible. Although Tom Cruise does do some pretty cool shit there. But hey, we're strapping you to a plane today. Yeah. You know, it's not quite sitting in your trailer. But he's kind of a, a savant. Yeah, and, yeah. And I. And I mean that in the autistic way. Yes. He has that autism There's level There's something of wrong with him. Yes, he's not, <laughs> yeah. he's not right. Um, <laughs> but I think what we may see is the phasing out of actors at some point. I think mm. they're going to be replaced by virtual. Uh, we talked about that for years, but you're starting to yeah. really see the potential that it could happen. You know, because, you know, I, I look back at music and how... Millie Vanilli, you, you yeah. remember Millie Vanilli, and everyone oh, yeah. acted like it was this huge betrayal. And then the idea now that a pop star isn't singing their, no one even cares. Yeah, no I don't know cares. what you're talking about. So just as music can be auto-tuned and replaced by session people, and we have no problem with that. Yeah. Why not have as as we as we're able to make that jump over the uncanny valley? Yep. That. Right now, it's pretty much, you know, the guys who jerk off to anime porn. They've got their own thing going on. But once the normal people are able to jump over the uncanny valley, why would you put up with an actor? Right. Yeah, put up with their nonsense and yeah. fucking egos and political agendas, whatever. How much better would the Irishman have been if it were just CGI? Just there were CGI none of guys. those old fucks. Right. And Frankenstein De Niro doing his... I'm gonna... Kick your ass. 
Where's the award for that guy who took that beating where he was lying on his back like, Gah! Right. Gah! It's like, wow. Yeah. From him, I'm really believing he's getting yeah. beaten. But as I'm looking at this, an old man is like, like, uh, De Niro's kicking him, kick and he was him. getting the worst of it. Yeah, yeah. You hear his legs shattering. He's, that guy's acting was on par with someone you'd see on a WWF Saturday morning <laughs> yeah. getting his shit kicked out of him. the stomp, and you could tell <laughs> yeah. it's just not really hitting the guy. And Yeah. <laughs> yeah this look is just, at this. This, this is, is so I was pathetic. watching this, and I said, okay, this is the scene. No one is watching the scene and not realizing this is right. It takes you right out of it. They should have CGI'd this. Look he at him. Look barely how he move. His hands are like this, too. Listen to the sound of it. Uh. <laughs> Come on. He's like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> That shoe has so much padding in it, it's probably refreshing to have it on your hand. <laughs> it's a massage. It's, it's got so much gel. He's standing like this. He's like, <laughs> it looks so Fucking pathetic. Go Gollum. <laughs> yeah. Silent movie. Ah, <laughs> uh, the kicks were right when he walked out. He's unsteady on his yeah. feet and just. Uh, they put on the Bruce Lee sound uh, effects of. Uh. Yeah, and you know it's like that was Scorsese. So you're you're like, yeah. what are you what are you trying to recreate that Goodfellas moment for? You know, that was in the '90s. They pulled that off. Now it just looks terrible. It's bizarre. Yeah, the yeah. The movie was bizarre. He must have gone through the dailies and then even the edits where you're looking and someone had to look and just go, we keeping that? Yeah. Someone had to say, yeah. It was probably Marty. I don't know. I just love that that still yeah. image of Pacino walking next to De Niro and De Niro has oh, the Herman Munster with shoes the big on. platform shoes he to look. looks like look a goth chick. That taller. <laughs> It's so bad, and it's even made worse by knowing that Al Pacino is like a chimp now. He's about three feet tall. Yeah, yeah, they're very short. Yeah. Uh, Tom Cruise also is very short. They a lot, All these actors are very short people. And uh, what did they have to have a girl walk in a ditch? Oh, no, that was for... Um, Alan Ladd, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's a, a tried and true method. I think Jon Stewart, when they thought he was going to be an actor for a little while... And is in a movie, and he's a short guy. Mm -hmm. And they had to have um, a girl walk in a trench. They had to dig a trench, Miracle. and he's walking. And they had to have the girl walk in the trench because he was so. Short. I think they like you about five foot eight. Yeah, yeah. Because then you can. It's a practical consideration. You can look the female lead in the eye. Oh yeah, look That's, at that. Uh, I heard it was a problem they had with Brendan Fraser was that he was tall and that it was yeah. hard to block the scene because the. You know, the women were 5'4", or whatever, and they would come up to his chest, whereas... But I love how Hollywood lies about these guys who are my height. I'm 5'6", yeah. and they, they have to say 5'8". Like, 5'6 is not good, but those extra two inches... <laughs> ah, another two inches. Yeah. That's another... Like, ro watching Rocky now yeah. cracks me up, because he's the heavyweight champion of the world, and even as buff as he was, look at his wrists! Yeah. Like, he, he and Mr. T, these two petite guys, come on. <laughs> Was Dolph Lundgren supposed to be 11 feet tall when he was fighting him? Yeah. Give me a break. Because Stallone, I think, is maybe 5'9". Yeah. Yeah. So why is that? Like, people get into the... Yeah. Maybe if you're taller, you go into other things and not drama. Like, what? Basketball? I don't know. It could it's be. Just... Well, you know, taller men not only are... Uh, it's a huge thing with women, but they also earn more money. Yeah. It's still, again, another primitive thing from hell. Yeah, being sure, sure. It's larger. DNA, genetics. The woman would like a powerful sure. big guy. Sure. Thank God for show business where a little freak like me can. Little freaks uh, can get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it that's There's a lot of works. very easily impressionable women out there who <laughs> see me in a position. A... To roll down. <laughs> how bad is the rest of the crop out there, right? It's a gay thing, too. I mean, a lot of uh, guys in drama, because you don't think of, mm. you know, you didn't go right to an action movie and start doing that. A lot of these guys yeah. were hanging out in drama class with mm. a lot of gay dudes and girls and shit like that. And, uh, you know, I think, I think it's gay dudes are drawn more to the field of drama than straight dudes. So I think you do yeah. have a, a lot more gay actors that For have... Sure been closeted over the years. And I have a theory about that, too. Yeah? I think it's because, maybe not so much now, but because they had to learn to live 
a a dual life. Oh, that's that they, good. They could go into performing easier because right. they already knew how to hide their essence yeah, in yeah. the character. Act like you're not disgusted yeah. by a vagina. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I sure want that. Ooh, get me that vagina. Wow, he's good. Look at that pussy. Really think he wants that mm. pussy. Look at her big tits. Oh, I love those giant tits. <laughs> and that big, wet pussy. <laughs> <laughs>